And I'm John. And we're here at Huntington Beach Mazda presenting you guys the brand new CX-90. Let's check it out. This is Mazda's first inline six eight-speed automatic hybrid vehicle. This particular package is our premium package in the beautiful color Platinum Quartz Metallic. This vehicle has 280 horsepower with 332 pound-feet of torque, as well as a 3.3 turbocharged engine. So we're in the front of the vehicle, and the first thing I notice, at least, is this huge grill on the front. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's a black, glossy grill in the front. And if you didn't notice, inside of this Mazda logo is actually a radar sensor. Um, it's going to sense the um, rain for the automatic windshield wipers. That's awesome. Cool. cool. 21 inch alloy wheels in the vehicle. Um, it has the brand new inline six badge. As nice. you can tell right here too, these are gonna be body color matched power folding side mirrors with heated side mirrors as well. So in case of any inclement weather. Yeah, if you're living in a snowy climate and you get that frost building up in the rear view mirrors, no worries, right? Absolutely. Not something we have to worry about in Huntington exactly. Beach, but you know. <laughs> cool. All of our 90s will come with the standard all-wheel drive system, but what's unique about the 90 is that it comes with a rear-wheel bias. Nice. Yeah. Another cool feature about this car, it's going to have your hands-free power lift gate. So in case you're carrying your groceries or you have a little one in your hand, all you got to do is put your foot underneath right here, and it's going to open up the trunk just nice. like that. Very cool. Super convenient. It is. That's awesome. Cool. As you can see, Mazda has a newly designed interior with the wood trimmings in the front center console as well as on the door accents. Nice, yeah, it looks super sleek. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing this is a wireless charging pad for your phone. Absolutely. Probably connects to Apple CarPlay pretty seamlessly. It does, it's actually wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then tons of control buttons in here. You want to walk me through what we're looking at? Yeah, let's start from the steering wheel. On the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to have all of your audio settings, mm -hmm. so your volume button, your call, your hang up button. Moving over to the right side is going to be all of your um, your cruise control, your Mazda mm -hmm. radar cruise car control with stop and go. Nice. And then we got our shifter over here, and then and this looks like this is all controls for the the infotainment control. system. Infotainment system. Absolutely. Very cool. This is the newly designed gear shift, which is super cool, brand new for Mazda. You're going to also be able to control everything from the little dial right here because Mazda is all about safety. They don't want you reaching to sure. touch the screen. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Your parking brake is also going to be automatic. Um, this is the auto hold button. We like to call it the drive through button. Mm -hmm. So if you push down all the way on the brake if you're, and you push down the auto hold button, you're going to see a green hold on the screen of the car, mm -hmm. but you'll still be in gear and your car will still be completely stopped. So you don't have wow. to go from park to drive when you're in that drive through. All you got to do is put your car into auto hold and it'll go while you're in gear. Nice. You're also going to have your panoramic moonroof, which is super, super cool. It opens all the Very way. Cool. The with the tilt the feature. Nice. Opens up just like that. Nice. Cool. Then you're going to have your, your sunglass case of course, right over here. course, got to have that. <laughs> Inside of here is actually the Mazda radar cruise control sensor. Okay. In that box. Very cool. Mm -hmm. The home link Something. button. So if you want to, if you have a garage at home yeah. or you want to connect anything, that's where you're going to be able to program that. Nice. So right over here, you're gonna have your basic, you know, AC control mm -hmm. system with heated seats on both sides um, with three different levels right over here. You're gonna have your front and rear defrosters, your AC system, um, and moving down over here, you're gonna have the My Drive system. So on here, if you wanna mm -hmm. go ahead and click it, you'll see the normal mode, the sport mode, and the off-road mode. Nice. All right, so we're obviously in the back seat now in the interior, and the first thing I notice is I have a ton of legroom back here. Absolutely, the CX-90 is actually one of the the largest vehicles that we have had. Um, it actually has 41 inches of legroom in the front seat, 39 inches in the second row, and 40 inches in the back seat. That's huge for a third row. Absolutely. Awesome. And then I notice, obviously these are bucket seats, so you have super lot of space, um, but there's this cool little fold-up uh, cup holder. Yeah. And then obviously it looks like we have 
some pretty cool controls back here. The screen and I know this USB-C, which is awesome for charging my iPhone. Yeah, you're gonna have your complete AC system down below and two USB-C fast charging ports back here in case you have little ones to you know charge the iPad or whatever it may be. You nice. also have two more USB-C charging ports in the back seat as well. Oh, I see that, that's awesome. All right, well I'd say let's take this thing for a test drive. Absolutely, let's go. Okay, let's take this thing for a spin. Absolutely. Here we go. First thing I notice is the heads up display up here showing my speedometer. Yeah. Right in the nice. windshield. Yeah, it's going to be the active driving display that we have on the vehicle. Um, it's going to have traffic sign recognition. It's going to have your, it's going to also assist with your lane keep assist. So you'll notice that okay. the lines will light up on the Nice. Side. Very cool. Well, so far, it's a pretty smooth drive. Turns really easy. I'm in sport mode, so I just give it a little. Give it a little wow, the engine smells real nice. Wow, yeah. So cool. I have three different modes your sport mode, your normal mode, and your off road mode. In case you do go off roading, this car can handle it. Okay, can't imagine taking <laughs> anything off roading in my lifestyle, but. I mean, Hit anything the can ride. <laughs> Exactly. Talk to me about this uh, sound speaker, sound system. Looks like we got a Bose. Yeah, so in here. because this is the premium package, um, it's going to come with the high quality Bose system, the Bose audio system, which is nice. really nice. So talk to me about the uh, range that this car gets with the gas. Yeah, so with it is quoted 24 miles city, 28 highway, and 25 combined. So it has awesome. a pretty good gas mileage, especially for um, a three row SUV. Absolutely. How do you like the car so far? It's nice, drives really good, it's pretty, got some power smooth ride obviously it's a big vehicle so it takes everything pretty smooth would you drive this car I would yeah actually I think my next car would probably I would like to get an SUV or at least a, a crossover so oh, cool. this is definitely the kind of car that would be in the market I would be in the market for yeah <laughs> it has plenty of cargo space as well as plenty of back room to carry all of your stuff Absolutely. you're gonna also have the roof rail so if you do go skiing or snowboarding you can go ahead and put your stuff on top of the car makes sense easy access how do you like the turning on here as we're going on the off ramp it's good it's really smooth not too much of that pull mm -mm. Mm -hmm. and i did notice it does have that lane assist which obviously a lot of new cars have that for safety absolutely that's a cool feature this car is packed with safety features like you were mentioning, lane keep assist. Um, what's gonna happen is that if you are veering off to the left, or hopefully you're not falling asleep on the road, mm -hmm. but if you are, um, it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel and help you gear back into that right. correct lane, which is very, very helpful and safe. You're also gonna have your blind spot monitoring system. So if somebody is in your blind spot and your signal is on, you're gonna hear that beeping noise. Okay. And the little triangle on your rear view mirrors are gonna go ahead. Or your side mirrors are gonna light up. That's super helpful. Yes. Especially driving a big, longer car, you know, always have a good sense of how long your car is, so. You know, when I took it for a test drive, I did not feel like it was a huge SUV. What do you think? No, it definitely feels like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm driving a big boat, you know? Exactly. Sometimes driving a bigger SUV, you feel like you're driving this massive machine that kind of drags a little bit, but this feels super smooth, easy to drive, and definitely, um, like turns on a dime. So yeah. that was your blind spot monitoring system right there. Um, you can okay. hear it. I hear that. You can definitely turn it down if you know not to your liking. However, mm -hmm. it's very helpful to keep it on um, in right. case somebody is in your blind spot. Like you said, we are in a larger car, so mm -hmm. you want to test out the uh, turning radius? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Let's take it back here and just see see what this thing can do. Yeah. So I noticed when I was driving, it seems like when you're turning the steering wheel, it's just like, oh, is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? Nope, nope, still turning, it's still going. And we're turning on a dime. It's very, very seamless. Super tight turn radius on this thing. We're making U turns. <laughs> we're keeping on going. Definitely legal in California. <laughs> exactly. And we're gonna be done. Okay. All right, cool. And now I wanna try out the backup camera. Yeah. So oh, a little dizzy now. <laughs> 
So when you have your cross traffic alert, um, if some, let's just say a kid accidentally runs out into the street or you have mm -hmm. someone behind you or when you're pulling out, it's gonna go ahead and let you know. It's gonna okay, beep at you cool. during that part. All right, well that was fun. Yeah. Well, we did drive the CX-90 Turbo Premium Package today. There are plenty of different packages that can suit your specific needs. Ranging from the Turbo Select package that has a 3.3 turbo engine, 280 horsepower, and 332 pound-feet of torque, starting at a little over $39,000 to the Turbo S Premium Plus package that also has a 3.3 turbo engine, but includes 340 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, which starts at just under $60,000. The CX-90 also comes in a plug-in model with three different packages, Preferred, Premium, and Premium Plus that all have a 2.5 liter hybrid engine, 323 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, starting at slightly above $47,000. We just want to thank Huntington Beach Mazda for allowing to use their facilities as well as their brand new CX-90. Yeah, I learned so much about this car, so thank you for explaining all the features it has to offer. Of course. Would you recommend getting the car? Would you recommend driving it? Yeah, absolutely. I think this kind of vehicle totally fits into my needs and what I'd be looking for if I was trying to buy an SUV. It drives really nice and uh, has a lot of great features, so awesome. I would recommend anyone that's interested in getting a mid-size SUV, like, definitely come out and test drive one of these. Awesome. It's awesome. Thank you so much.